We're here with head women's soccer coach Steve Berdarski before the uh, team takes off to go overseas to Spain and France on a 10-day trip on Saturday. Uh, coach, if you would, just kind of talk about the, the overview of the trip and what everything is, how everything is planned out. Um, well, the trip is more or less split up into, uh, into three parts. So we, uh, we arrive in Barcelona, Spain, which, uh, which will be there for, for four days. Um, then we'll travel north up into France where we'll be in Montpellier for, for three days and then Lyon for three days. So um, six days in France, five days uh, more or less in, in, in Spain. So two countries, uh, three soccer soccer cities, you know, and uh, you know, the first part of course is you know, as soon as we get there we arrive and uh, you know, get a day uh, to more or less relax and then we get to go see uh, our first professional game where we'll get to see Barcelona, which is the you know, Spanish League champions this year. Um, so we'll get to see them and imagine that it'll be 100,000 people including us in that stadium and I think uh, for our girls that'll be a, a first time experience. Then uh, after the game, the next two following days we'll actually play, play our first two games. So we have back to back games, uh, the first one against Barcelona's women's team, which also they're, they're the, uh, the La Liga champions this year, so that'll be a tough test for us. And then the following day we play uh, their rival Espanol, which, uh, which finished fifth in the uh, professional league over there. So first five days, it's a lot of soccer. You know, Barcelona is a soccer city. Uh, you know, I think the girls are, are really fortunate to be able uh, to start there. And then, uh, and then when we travel up north, um, we still have one more game. We'll play Saint Etienne. They have a U19 team that we'll be playing against. But then it's 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 a little bit more get get do a little bit more sightseeing. Um, and, and then you know, some of the actual teams actually going to take a day trip up to Paris. So it's going to be a, a a lot of uh, a lot of soccer, uh, a lot of sightseeing, uh, and, a, and a lot of fun. I think. Now this will be the first time that you're with the team for an extended period of time since you were hired earlier this spring. Um, talk about that element and kind of what you hope to get out of this trip in terms of your team bonding with that. Well, you know, and, and I'm, I'm not, I'm not trying to be too, uh, too sarcastic or too joking here, but you know they've been gone for a week, <laughs> and I miss them already. You know, we we spent a lot of time these uh, these past three months getting to know each other um, on and off the field, uh, finding out different parts, um, becoming closer as a group, but also in, in terms of individual relationship with. With myself and, and a lot of the players, so I'm looking forward to the trip because I get to see him again. You know, we uh, we said goodbye uh, uh, right after graduation here, and then it was like, yeah, I'll see you in five or six days. So it's it's exciting to get them back as a group, and it's nice. You know, it's a, it kind of resembled a little bit to, to preseason, where it's just us together, um, doing everything that we can together. We're eating together, we're we're sightseeing together, where you know, of course, we'll be playing together. Um, so there's a lot of different team a aspects. You know, the chemistry part to it. That we need to develop up, and and when I came in, one of the things that you know we divided up the season already, and you know, our spring season was phase one, and this is this is phase two. Like this is a big trip for us. These next these next ten days are going to propel us into our fall preseason and into our fall season. So we need to get a lot out of it. We need to become closer as a group and a unit. Um, and and the team bonding aspect, I think, is is you're going to see that not right now, but you'll see it in the course of uh, of our fall season. But it's. It's something that I'm looking forward to, uh, you know, being able to not have to worry about academics, not have to worry about, you know, what everything is going on on campus. It's great to, to get off campus and, and do a little bit of that. Absolutely. As a coach, how do you manage the the cultural experience side of it, but you're also there to work and get better as a team? How do you manage that? We well, you know, you know, one of our principles in terms of the vision that we have for our program and everything is is their people first. We care about our girls, each individual as, as people. So when you go over there, um, I, I know the automatic things to do is look here, just engross yourself with soccer. That's it. You know, let's go and you know watch every practice, watch every training session. But um, for some of these girls, it's the first time out of the country. You know, so it's it's uh, you know for me as a coach, that part of it is a, is a big part. I want them to uh, you know I'd say taking risks, but I want them to explore. You know, to learn a little bit about the language, learn about the culture. Um, try new foods, you know, uh, not, not go over there and say, you know, hey, you know, we're, do they have a Sprague's in Barcelona or something like that? You know, I, I'd hope they'd want to find the, uh, the, the, you know, something unique to the, to the towns and, and the areas. And um, I hope also, you know, it, you know just going to a, a, a nation that loves, two countries that love soccer so much, that, that the soccer bug will even increase in terms of their passion you know, for the game um, will be there. But we're going we're gonna to do both. You know, we, we've set up a a trip where we're going to allow them to, to be able to cities and, and see the cultural side of things. But we've also set it up where the soccer side of it is still amazing. When you get to see, we get to see two professional games, um, two, two great teams in Europe play in big stadiums. 
Uh, we're going to see what being a soccer fanatic is, is really about, you know. And, um, and then being able to play against, you know, professional teams, you know, who knows. Now, this could be, a, you know, a job interview for some of these girls, you know, maybe on, down the road that's, that's where they choose to go, uh, to go play, you know, later on down the road. So we're excited about it, you know, but, but like you said, we're going we're gonna to take it in all the different elements, you know, the fun side, uh, the tourist side, the cultural side, the soccer side, and, and hopefully when we come back we'll have a lot of great stories to share. Sure. And I'd be remiss if I didn't ask you the one thing that you're looking forward to the most, whether it's a city, a game, an event, what would that be? Well, um, you know, right, right now we don't have an assistant coach, so I'm actually going to make a pitch to, uh, to Lionel Messi to see if he'd be willing to give well, up. He's his, injured right now. Yeah, too, I so mean, see, see if he'll give up his playing career to come on and maybe, uh, maybe, maybe be our assistant coach. Barcelona for me, and I'm not trying to take away from, from, from going to France, Barcelona for me is, is really what I'm looking forward to. I'm looking, to, looking forward to seeing their, um, their development academy, La Mesa. Um, and I'm meeting hopefully some of their coaches and spending a little bit of time on, on seeing because the last five five years you've heard all these different ideas come out and come out of that area. You know, this is what they're doing, this is what they're doing. But I like to see what cutting edge things that they, they might have. And um, you know, they, they start their players from, from as young as nine and ten years old, um, and, and housing them in, in this academy. So I'd like to be able to see that side of it and you know again if we could meet a couple players or two. That'd be pretty exciting too, you know. Absolutely, great. Well, thank you very much, Coach. Best of luck. Enjoy the ten-day trip. And uh, for you out there, if you want to follow all the action on Twitter, Bonnie's W Soccer, and also on GoBonnie's.com. Thanks a lot, Coach. Go Bonnie's.